Hey guys, once again, I'm Hazel Lagos and you're here in this segment of a product review for Sony ZV-1. Um, it's a camera that I just recently bought and hoping that it will be a long-term investment for this YouTube channel. It is tagged as the best vlogging camera for 2020. Ewan ko din, pero hoping that it will serve its purpose. So, you are here to find out its features and how does this camera work. So, let's go and unbox this thing. So here we have the Pandora box for Sony ZV-1 camera and let's open it and upon opening it you will see manuals and guides in different languages so let's put it here and when you flip this open i'll show you the accessories first so first we have this micro usb cable for transferring files and also for charging your camera so we also have this camera sleeve and then we have this windjammer or the dead cat or dead kitten which I call. And lastly, the camera itself. So this is how the camera looks like. It's very lightweight and compact. You can actually put it in your purse or put it in your pocket. I weigh in the pros and cons of this camera comparing it to other vlogging cameras that is available in the market. At from my research, mas nagustuhan ko siya kasi hindi siya masyadong complicated. At sino ba naman ang gusto ng complicated na relasyon? <laughs> Char. Anyway, if you're an independent creator like me, who doesn't have a capacity to hire a crew like video editors, graphic artists, script writers, and videographers. In short, sa Luis ta katulad ko, I think ma-appreciate nyo tong Nofas camera because of its features. So, by the way, this camera is also using this NPBX1 battery, which is the same as the RX100 series of Sony. So, so if you have RX100 cameras, then magagamit niyo yung batteries niyo for this cam. I'll just put it back in it. I'll give you a closer look of Sony ZV-1. So ayan, ito siya up close. And dito sa right hand side, meron kang hand grip. And meron ka thumb grip sa likod. So let's begin from the top. Yan, this is how the camera looks. And this is your hot shoe. This is your hot shoe wherein you can install your LED lighting and also you can install your external microphones or your shotgun microphones. And here you can see a three capsule microphone which allows you to talk in front of the camera, on the side of the camera, and at the back of the camera. It will capture your voice. Of course, it has this on and off button, it has this mode button wherein you can switch to different scenarios or different programs. You also have this record button for videos and shooting button for images. And meron ka ring dial for zoom in and zoom out. And last, you have this C1 button for bokeh or background blur in which I will show you how it works later on. Dito sa right hand side ulit, we have these ports. And this is for your micro USB where you can transfer files to your PC and also from where you can charge the camera. And you also have this micro HDMI so you can use this camera to stream your games or to stream your YouTube. At the bottom part naman, you have this battery compartment. So open natin, nandyan yung battery, nandyan din yung SD card. Ay, wala pala yung SD card. And then you have this thing to mount your hand grips or your tripods. And for me, it's kind of small because I'm used to shooting with the SLR cameras. Its dials and buttons is very tiny for me, so it'll take time for me to adjust to it. But for light travelers, this is good news because it's not much of an item to snuck in into your backpacks. It actually feels like smartphone in my hand. I have not bought any compact cameras or point-and-shoot cameras before. I feel like they don't have 
much difference with smartphones. iPhone cameras are actually not that bad because they are good at shooting photos and videos. But I'm giving this Sony ZV-1 a chance to redeem point-and-shoot cameras. I also want to highlight that Sony did not create this camera for taking photos. They built this first ever camera solely for vlogging and for taking videos. When you're taking videos, lalo na pag mag-isa ka, gusto mo yung lagi ka nakikita sa display screen while you're on record. So with this camera, you just flip this display screen to the side and then this display screen or LCD, you can just rotate it to whichever angle you need. So, ayan, makikita nyo rin yung setup ko ngayon. And as for vloggers or videographers who wanted to level up their audio, maganda yung gantong setup kasi dito mo ilalagay sa hot shoe yung external microphones mo or external shotgun mics at hindi siya sagabal dun sa display screen, di ba? Ayan. Unlike dun sa ibang cameras na nakita ko na taas baba yung display screen. So, talking about the hand grip, Sony Singapore offers this package wherein you can buy this camera together with a hand grip for a fraction of a price. At dahil nga sa Luista ko, wala akong videographers at sya kapag nagsushoot ako ng walking shots, nahihirapan ako. So, binili ko na rin siya. This hand grip comes in this box at ito siya. Ayan. So, kung makikita nyo, maliit lang din siya at magaan lang naman siya. Hindi siya wireless, meron siyang micro-USB cable na kailangan mong isaksak dito sa micro-USB port ng camera for its dials to work. So, meron ka dito ang record button for videos, meron ka ding shooting button, at sa gitna meron kang zoom in and zoom out dials. And dito naman, dito mo imamount yung camera. So, let's set this thing up. Very easy siya. So, dito sa bottom part ng camera mo, meron kang pang mount ng tripod o kaya ng hand grip. And then, you just align this thing here and use this rotating scroll. So, it's very easy. So, kakabit ko din to para makita nyo how it works. Ayan, nakarecord na tayo. And then, I'll just press this again to turn it off. And then, you can use this to shoot images. Hindi ko siya makita. So, this is for the hand grip. At ang maganda dito, meron siyang legs. So, etong part na to, pwede mo siyang i-open. At meron ka ng tripod, pwede mo siyang ilagay sa kahit anong surface. At dito naman sa side, you can press this button and shift the angle. Ganyan yung setup ng hand grip. And then, to complete the look, let's put in the wind jammer. Tanggalin mo lang yung hot shoe cover. And then, slot this in. So, meron ka ng wind jammer sa microphone mo. By the way, I saw in some of the reviews na meron silang hand grip na wireless. But I don't know why it's not available here in Singapore. But I think for me, it's okay. Kasi medyo mahal-mahal na siguro yun. So, ako... Pumunta talaga ako dun sa store para bilhin to kahit na free yung delivery or shipping ng Sony Singapore or ng Amazon. Um, it's because I want to try it first before buying it at syempre para ma-sales to. <laughs> Ang dami-dami kong sangkatutak na tanong dun sa sales agent. At pagkatapos nun, hindi pala ako bibili no. Tips sa mga buyers out there, especially if gadgets yung bibilhin nyo, Huwag muna kayo magpakita ng interest sa agent na gustong-gusto nyo na yung item. Humingi kayo ng freebies or ano pang pwede nilang i-add on. Kasi yun yung trick dun eh. I hope hindi niya itong mapanood. <laughs> so pagkatapos niyang i-showcase yung product, humingi ako ng add-on. At lucky for me, nagbigay sila ng extra battery at ng travel charger. Which is this one. Kaya nakasave din ako. Very important din to kasi if ginagamit ko yung camera, pwede ko nang i-charge yung spare battery at hindi ko na siya kailangang isaksak pa dito. Anyway, I've been using this camera na for the past week and also ginamit ko na siya sa vlog ko at... So, 
at madami akong nakuhang feedback na anong camera yung gamit ko. So finally, I can discuss with you this camera. And also, gusto ko muna siyang gamitin before ako magawa nitong review, ba? Diba? Lahat ng isha-share ko dito is based on my first-hand experience. Hi guys, so we are here now at the park and we're trying out the audio for ZV-1 and my iPhone. So this is how the audio sounds from my iPhone. This is how the audio sounds in our Sony ZV-1 without the dead kitten. So let's try the audio with the dead kitten. Here's the dead kitten and I'm gonna slot it in. So now we're testing the audio for ZV-1 with the fur. Hindi na siya masyadong compare kasi walang wind ngayon eh. Nakikita niyo ba yung buho ko? So, mahangin siya ngayon and test natin yung wind jammer. Kasi nung isang araw nasa park ako, hindi siya mahangin. So, this is the best time to test this wind jammer. Then, tanggalin ko yung wind jammer ah. Ayun, so napansin nyo ba yung improvement kapag merong dead cat or wind jammer? Sobrang importante niya kasi hindi ako makagawa ng video outside an enclosed space dahil medyo nahihirapan ako sa audio. At yun din yung main concern ng mga friends ko dun sa mga nauna kong videos. The next feature that we'll try is what you call the ND filter. What is an ND filter? If masyadong bright yung araw, nagkakaroon ng overexposure sa shots. Kaya Sony created this filter that you can incorporate in these situations. Ayan, so guys, nakaset tayo ngayon sa merong ND filter. Ikot mo na ako. Sobrang init at saka tirik na tirik yung araw. Ngayon, try natin ang walang ND filter. Ito naman siya ng walang ND filter. May difference ba? Hindi ko pa makita ngayon eh. So, mamaya pag in-edit ko or pre-nasas ko yung video, then makikita ko kung may difference. Yan o, oh, sobrang exposed tayo. So, next on the feature that we'll talk about is the stabilization. Sony claims that this camera has a stabilization feature, so I can't wait to try it out. So we are now at the setting na walang steady mode. Enough ko muna yung steady mode para makita natin yung difference later. So, yan. And, paikot, kahilo. Okay, so mag-switch tayo. May dalawang options. Meron tayong standard at merong active. So, dun muna tayo sa standard. Okay, so ito yung standard. May difference ba? Hindi ko makita eh kasi nilo ko. <laughs> Pero ayan. Okay. Ikot ulit. Buti na lang walang tao dito sa park pag mga gantong oras. Okay. So, now we'll switch to active mode. Ayan. This is the active mode. So, I guess medyo mas stable siya kaya sa kanina. Ayan. And same lang yung way ng pag-handle ko. Ha? Walang daya to. Then, ikot ulit. Okay, mas maayos ba? So, this is the stabilization feature of Sony ZV-1. So, I have seen... Hindi akong kahinga. So, I have seen a few cameras that offers much better stabilization or steady shots. Especially for walking shots. Like those of DJI Osmo Pocket and the Hero 8 Black. But I think this feature of Sony is passable for me. 
Ang ingay nung uwak, pinapaalis na ako dito. <laughs> One thing that I love about this camera is its autofocus feature. It is super fast and spot on. If you are a vlogger who likes to showcase brands or other products, then you can just shove it into its lens and... Tada! Sobrang clear niya. Teka lang. Ayan. And it's super fast. Diba? It's super fast. So those thing na ginagawa nyo para lang i-focus yung product, it's a thing of the past na for Sony ZV-1. It is super clear and neat. I think because ginamit nila yung 24 to 70mm with 1.8 to 2.8 f-stop lens. At mas maganda yung quality ng blur niya compared to other point-and-shoot cameras. And talking about lenses, hindi ako professional. But I have a bit of knowledge about lenses because I'm into photography. So this lens has a real-time tracking and real-time autofocus system. Meaning it can capture your face whenever you move and it's most likely accurate than the face tracking system. So what am I talking about? Gamitin ko yung iPhone ko para makita nyo. And dito tayo. So click ko yung eye ko. Yan. So pag nag-move tayo, makikita nyo yung real-time eye tracking. ba? Hirap naman mag-isa. Kaya makakapture nyo yung face mo. And mafo-focus nyo ito. So another thing, this camera has a high frame rate capabilities. You can do slow motion shots with this. This is the 250 frames per second. Now we are at 500 frames per second. And lastly, 1000 frames per second. If you are into creating effects, this is a very handy tool to have. Madami nagsasabotahe ng shoot ko. Hi, nako! So, if you are into creating effects, this is a very handy tool to have for a point-and-shoot camera. So, another feature that we will try is the bokeh or the C1 button. Bokeh, bokeh. <laughs> bokeh. <laughs> Basta bokeh. Basta binablur out in background. So, let's check it out. So guys, I'm now here in Tokyo and ita try natin yung C1 button kasi madaming tao dito. So mas makikita niyo yung difference. Wait lang, hanap tayo ng tao. Ayan. Nakita niyo ba? Wala kang salamin eh. Ayan. I-press ko na yung button again. Ayan, nag-blur out yung background. Tanggalin ko siya. And then, it blur out ko ulit. And then, tanggalin ko siya. Amazing, di ba? So, mapapansin nyo, nakafocus akan yung camera and blurred out yung background whenever you use this C1 button or bokeh button. Another feature of this camera is that it has a soft skin filter. This filter is a version of beauty filter in our mobile phones. O ba instant glow up kahit bagong gising ka or haggard sa trabaho. Especially for me, ang dami kong blemishes at saka sunspot sa mukha. At saka yung eye bag ko na humahakot ng muta. <laughs> so, itong soft skin mode, meron siyang 3 tiers. Try natin. So, ito yung walang soft skin effect. Medyo maganda yung lighting dito. <laughs> Kaya pinili ko talaga yung pwesto. And then, let's try the first tier. Ayan. Ito yung low soft skin effect. And then, let's move on to mid. Meron siyang low, mid, at saka high. And then, ito yung mid effect. Let's see yung high. And lastly, ito yung high. May effect naman kasi nawala yung wrinkles ko. Medyo tanders na. Nawala yung rough or sharp edges. So, depende sa inyo kung anong gusto nyo gamitin. Kung yung mid, yung low, or yung eto, yung high. There's another feature of this camera na hindi ko pa na-explore, which is the color grading. Sony has upped their game with their color science scheme with this 
camera. I personally use Canon and I personally prefer Canon because it produces nice colors in its footages and images. But Sony is now trying to compete with that color grading that you can actually customize. If you've heard about presets in Instagram, then that's the counterpart of presets in videos. I am yet to explore that and I have tons of things to learn about this camera and i feel like color grading is a very complicated thing which is what we're trying to avoid right now complicated relationships um one thing to add this camera has a built-in 1.0 type cmos sensor which is the same as your smartphones kaya maganda yung focus niya or pag blur ng background niya and at the same time maganda yung pag shoot niya sa low light environment the disadvantages na nakikita ko about this camera is yung lens niya. It's not changeable. Another thing is yung field of view niya. Maliit lang yung range niya. Hanggang dyan lang yung nakukuha niya. Hindi siya wide angle. Pero okay na din kasi ako lang naman yung bida dito eh. <laughs> Oy, joke lang yun na. Yung third thing is hindi naman major pero yung USB um, port niya is not USB-C. Pero hindi naman sobrang major yun. Personally, will I recommend this camera? For beginners, definitely yes. Aside dun sa built-in microphone niya na naging basehan ko kung bakit gusto ko tong camera na to, compact and lightweight din siya. Tapos, hindi siya ganun kalaki, ba? Diba? At hindi mo na kailangan ng additional borlolo like external microphone para lang maging maganda yung audio mo. Kasi kung madami ka ng borlolo <laughs> nakakaya naman siya ilabas sa daan. Kasi pag titinginan ka, sino ba naman ito? Taong ito. <laughs> diba? Agaw eksena siya masyado. And also, this camera has features na I think you won't even ask for. Meron din siyang ND filters for beachgoers and sun chasers. It has a stabilization feature which is hindi man ganun kagaling pero passable na. It can also shoot in a low light environment. At meron siyang battery na it can last up to one hour kapag hindi mo pinatay yung camera. Ang malaking tanong is magkano ba tong Sony ZV-1? So, ang retail price niya dito sa Sony Singapore, yung camera pa lang is $999. May kasama na siyang SD card. By the way, for SD card, it comes with a 64GB SD card with 170MBS. I think for videos, this is also a professional advice of a friend. You have to get an SD card with more than 100MBS para hindi makorap yung files nyo. So if it's lesser than that, pang photos and pictures lang siya. So ayun, going back to the price, that's $999 dito sa Singapore. And right now, may package sila which is kasama yung grip. So, if you buy it together, it's around $1,096. Kasi $100 plus yung grip eh. And if you will ask me if it's worth the price, I cannot answer that for you to be honest. Because we have different preferences. But you can look into the details and its features and weigh your decision if it's worth a buy or not. So, this video is definitely not sponsored. I bought this camera in my own accord and my own savings. So, Sony Singapore, if you are going to release a new vlogging camera, please consider me. <laughs> I'd be more than glad to test it out and do a review for you. <laughs> so guys, this is the end of the review and I hope it helped you somehow to make a decision to purchase your next vlogging camera. So, I'm hoping to see you on the next one, guys. Bye!